Okay, folks, let's see what this is. Probably an early Christmas present that fell apart. Some kid broke. Now, kids do break toys a lot, which is really sad. It's really wasteful. It's not good for the planet when toys get broken. Uh, fuck, I hate broken toys. Let's see how we go with this. It's just a piece of toy, but I'll show you what you'll see when, you, when I'm finished setting this silly thing up. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here has the word shoot written on it. Shoot, as in not shooting with a camera, but shooting with something, some piece of toy. I don't know what the fuck, mystery toy. Piece of broke, mystery, mystery piece of broken toy, for all we know. Um, we're just going to make it into an interesting demo we might as well use something that's considered trash garbage you know what people waste and throw away kids break toys ruin ruin the environment this was found on the ground incidentally Yeah, that's come up looking quite uh, interesting. I think we've got too much of an angle. We've got to ang it's angled. It's got to be angled a bit less than that, but it's looking good, considering what it is—a broken piece of someone's toy, some kid's toy. Kids just have a habit of breaking toys. I think I've broke. I've broken toys. I'm not. I got to be honest, folks. Um, I'm not I'm not perfect in that um, I guess it's a common problem it'd be good if toys could be made childproof as in child resistant should I say so they don't get broken as easily um, so we're going to leave it like that and utilize it like that so we can use that as our master copy don't know if this is probably not recyclable which is really shame, shame. Um, you can't recycle this shit um, if I'm correct so we're going to try and get it into the corner like so roughly where it should go Yeah, a lot of adults break things as well, like photocopiers. Christmas time, which we've just had a couple of days ago, is a time when photocopier service calls uh, are, are about people, photocopiers being uh, physically broken because people have decided to get to, normally it's when they get drunk and silly and they think they can drop their pants and sit on the platen of the photocopier or the glass and then the glass shatters and the whole fucking photocopier is destroyed and yeah and it's acceptable it's it's what it's it's a part of what christmas has been referred to as the silly season and that's one of the silly things that goes on in christmas is the fact that photocopiers uh, get broken a lot uh, around that time of the year which is really silly but you know in call outs so folks take my advice do not get drunk at Christmas time and do not sit on the photocopier at all because they're not designed to take much weight. You're not just going to destroy the, the glass or the scanner. You could fucking collapse the whole machine and write it off. It could be a write-off because of this fucking stupid festive shit. It's not fucking funny when it actually hurts and you could end up in hospital and have to 
explain the embarrass, embarrassing situation you found yourself in. You know, it's not worth it, folks. Do not sit on the photocopier. Do not sit on the photocopier. Just keep that, make that the last thing on your to-do list at, the, at your office party. Do not do it, folks. It's not worth losing your job. It's not worth not just losing your job but getting a, a bad mark on your resume or your CV. You know, take my, you know, take my advice. It's not, if you want, if you have to live on Centrelink because you fucked, you fucked up like that, it's not what, you can't live on that shit. You know, it's not, it's not livable. You, you, you're going to live in the grinding poverty. You could end up eventually on the street because you can't find a fucking job. So, you know, you, you don't want that, folks. You don't want to end end up without a job especially in the festive season folks you got to fucking just be sensible i know this message has come a bit belated it didn't cross my mind when i was doing a, a demo set on christmas day i don't know why it didn't cross my mind but take it for next year if you happen to be watching this on channel nine folks uh just take my advice please i beg you because I don't want to hear that people have hurt themselves or people have lost their jobs and have got a bad name against themselves because it's a highly... Even though the the unemployment rate is low, it's still... You're still going to have trouble finding a decent job if you have a bad mark against your name. You don't want that, folks. You don't want it, folks. not worth it. And to get... And to have to pay the... For the repair or the replacement bill... For a brand new photocopier, or at least if, if it doesn't totally collapse, you still have to pay like hundreds of dollars to get it fixed out of pocket because you've lost your job. Not worth it, folks. Do not, do not, under any circumstance, I reiterate, do not sit on the photocopier. Never. Don't do it. Off your to-do list. And don't get drunk and don't flirt and have sex with anyone in the office don't get drunk because get, getting drunk is the cause is often the root cause of these stupid dumb things that you do don't even kiss under the mistletoe consider your wife consider your husband that you must love them and don't lose them and go and divorce so don't do any of those things folks and that's kind of looking better than i would have expected i think we can now call this demo quits.